All right, how's it going, everyone? Beautiful people of YouTube, this is Jose Trujillo, world's greatest living artist, coming to you from the art studio. And today I'm going to be doing a little review on this koi set, this watercolor koi set. Now, I've been using this for a little while now, okay? Koi set, koi water, watercolors, yeah. They're by the Sakura Color Products Corporation. These are so simple. I think they're they're not expensive. I don't know. Whatever you consider expensive. I think they're like 40, 50 bucks, depending on where you buy them. I don't know. Uh that's not what matters though. What matters because I'm you know it, it it's it's not about like buying it cheap or buying it expensive. It's just does it work or not? Does it get the job done? And and did it cost an arm an arm and a leg to do it? Okay. So I like them. I really like them. The palette is huge. I am a very minimalist type of painter. <laughs> so I like to use a minimal palette for the most part. Uh, but this palette is really, you know, it's really cool. I like it. It's not like designer palette, because I know some people are like, yeah, I want some designer, you know, colors, you know, you want you want those 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 very awesome teals and 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 I don't know, peach colors and whatnot. I mean there's a peach right there, but but like more more gray type of you know, uh, designer friendly colors. I know a lot, of, a lot of artists like to work with that. I like to work with that too, but I can't always work with that. So I'm gonna show you guys this. It's just a little piece of cardboard that I just use, you know? And I'm gonna show you guys how I do one of my little um, watercolors. This is one of the many ways that I do them, guys. As I told you, don't marry this way only because I'm thinking, like, oh, I do it like Jose because I don't just do it this way. I am muy loco. I do it in different ways, different ways, different ways. So this is a uh, cold press, just a cold press paper. Not too thick, but not thin either. Not very thin. It's just, you know, it's good. Feels good. It feels very good. So... I do a little drawing with one of these little pens, okay? And this is a uh, 0 0.808, not 0 0.08, yeah. Hope you guys can see it there. It's by Micron. The reason I like to use them is because they don't smear, okay? Don't, 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 don't be so cheap. Don't, don't try to get a ball pen and, and have your stuff smear. If the stuff doesn't smear, use the ball pen by all means. Again, it's not about, it's not about, uh, uh, the prize and, the, and you know you have to use this you have to use that no it's what works for me I use what works try to get some bam there we go this is some dirty water no it's not that dirty did a little painting earlier so I do a little landscape with eucalyptus trees like I like to do them this is a very uh, classic California impressionist type of subject matter okay so here we go. I'm going to do a little heel side. Now, why do I start with line work? And why my type of uh, painting is not very conventional. Because I like to keep things simple, guys. Simple does not mean I'm keeping things uh, not... Uh, what are the column? Some people like to say that, that it's not it's not high skill, man. No. Yes, it is. Just because it's simple doesn't mean it's not. I've been working at this for over 20 years. I know it took a lot of learning how to make something look simple. So I start with the line work because it's something that I can control right away when I do a watercolor. Okay? And then I'm going to do some eucalyptus trees. Ooh la la, see? I told you guys, it only looks simple, but it's because it is. <laughs> See, eucalyptus. Bam, how is that a eucalyptus tree? Because it is, guys. If I say it is, it is. Okay. Eucalyptus trees. Bam, and I'm gonna put another one over here. Okay. Just for composition. There we go. See? Some some visual weight. Bam. It's heavier here. But it makes you travel. 
you know, it takes you through that beautiful S Zorro. Okay, let's say it is for Zorro. That's a Z. <laughs> but it sounded good. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna make some clouds. Happy puff little clouds. Puffy little clouds. Bam. All right. And now what's next? Oh, what's next? Oh la la. Let me see. Get this brush. Look at this brush. Trust the brush. You have to use watercolor brush for watercolors, guys. Unless you're doing something else and you know what you're doing, then by all means. But uh, I like to use the tools that are for that because then you can trust the tool. The tool was meant for that. See? The tool was meant for that. You know, unless you're like you're like overcoming the tool, uh, surpassing the tool, and you're like, oh, I try this new thing. By all means, but when you're starting out, I think it, I, I recommend you using the tool for the for the project. For example, use watercolor paper for watercolor. <laughs> I know it sounds obvious, but yeah, let me get this closer so you guys can see what I'm mixing here. Some people have asked me reference photos for this. The reference photo for this is my mind. I've been working at this for uh, quite some time, so I kind of know what these fields look like already. These landscapes, these scenic, scenic uh, landscapes. See, you clean it, you want to clean it. When you start working more and more and more, you realize you don't need to clean that much because you're in flow. When you're in flow, you start doing some funky stuff that's really cool, okay? But right now, I'm just I'm just doing some work. I'm not doing like like uh, I haven't been working at this for hours and hours. That's what I'm trying to say. So so I clean my brush because you 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 tend to do certain things depending on on how you how you're feeling the momento. Look at it! Ooh la la! Okay. And now for some visual pleasure right here, visual pleasure I like to call it, I'm gonna do some, some red. Why? Because because it's going, it's just going, it's going like this, look. There's an arrow happening. Right there. Okay, so now I'm gonna do some clouds. And like I told you guys, uh, well, no, I haven't told you guys. I told people on Instagram. By the way, if you haven't followed me on Instagram, what are you waiting for? Go check me out on Instagram. It's Jose Trujillo Art. I think I have the link below somewhere here where it says show me more. Uh, yeah, go check me out. I do daily videos on Instagram too. So in case you guys have been missing me, you're like, where is Jose on YouTube? It's because I've been on Instagram. I'm sorry, buds. I've been on Instagram. Okay. Uh, so... Here are some clouds. Look, trust the brush. The brush knows what it's doing. The brush always knows what it's doing. The brush is actually very wise. The brush is like a, a lightsaber. You know, it's like, trust me. And uh, it's wise. You know, the brush knows when, when you're like, I don't know, gee, what should I do? The brush is like, you are not worthy of me. See? Bam, bam. That's some sky right there. Now, in order to, you know that the sky goes lighter as it, as it goes into the distance. Of course, we know that, right? Basic stuff. So you want to water down your sky. Look. And if you water down too much, do not panic. Get a little paper and go like this. Block. Don't smear. Block. <laughs> there we go. See? Muy loco, muchacho. Always doing a, such a great job, you guys. I love what I do. I can't believe I get paid for, for, for working on this stuff. Oh, actually, I can. Man, I love my job. Check it out. Eucalyptus trees. Now, some people have told me this. I retail them at 69 bucks, okay? On, on my uh, eBay store. And some people have told me, man, I wish I could buy your work, blah, blah, blah. And so I was like, okay, well, I'm going to make some watercolors and, and price them, you know, have, have a, a lower price of my watercolors. Because some people told me that they want an, an oil painting, but they can't dish out. They don't want to play on the on the auctions, right? Some people don't want to play on the auctions. And they're like, okay, well, 
Uh, but but the set price is I think four four ninety five for an oil painting right now four hundred ninety five dollars for first for an eight by ten oil painting. So they're like, man, I don't I don't want to you know I don't think I can pay blah blah. And I'm like, okay, well I'm gonna do some some watercolors. They're only sixty nine bucks. And some people are like, ah, I'm like, oh my god, okay, well some people are cheaper than others. I get it. So <clears throat> what I decided to do was make these little babies. Limited time only, guys. Though. Okay, this is not this is not the huge nor the norm. I don't I don't like to do this 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 kind of stuff at the norm. Okay, little baby painting. I think this is a three by three. I want to say, yeah, three three inches by three inches. I think. Uh, this little baby is going to be somewhere around I don't know a buck. Not an auction. Okay, this is what's going to cost you. I think a dollar. Dollar ninety nine a dollar. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But it's not gonna be more than two bucks. I know that for sure. And no, it's not gonna. I'm not. I'm not gonna try to get you on the shipping either. Okay. <laughs> Some people tend to think that on <laughs> online. No, uh, it's gonna be like a buck or two. So uh, guys, if you cannot afford an original watercolor painting, okay. For like under two bucks. It's not even what a Starbucks. I'm not even going to pull a. It's less than a Starbucks. It's what it costs of a Starbucks. No. It's like. Dude. This Starbucks cost me more. And this. Is going to stay with me. For a long long time. This I'm going to get rid of it. Probably today. Most likely. Out of my life. Out of my body. Completely. Adios. I mean if you're talking chemically. Why not? No, please don't go there. So. But this is going to stay, probably in the family, you know, my children's children. I don't know. It's going to stay. Someone's going to be like, man, I got to keep this. This is, this is meaningful. It's by Jose. I tell people this all the time. Look, you buy a painting, I assure you, I'm not even joking with this. Especially when, when, when people buy the, the, the bigger size paintings, the more, you know, intense work. I assure you, you're going to have that painting long before you have your automobile long before sometimes sometimes even longer than you have a house your house because people keep them as heirlooms they pass them down so it's it's i mean in that sense it brings so much joy it's priceless i know i know i know that i'm pitching but that's because i am you know i gotta show you guys what i do and i'm very i'm very proud of what i do so here's the thing okay people are like man i can't afford this 69 dollar painting Dude, it's okay. I get it. Okay, you don't want to. You don't want to pay. It doesn't mean you can't afford. It, it means you don't want to pay for that. Got it. And you want something original by me. Okay, you're not ready. You're not even ready to invest sixty nine bucks on a, on, a, on a really beautiful, awesome watercolor. You're not ready for that. I understand. Not everyone is. I get it. Totally understand. But look, limited time. Have something original. At least get it in your hands. Feel it. Smell it. Go. Okay, yeah, this guy, this guy's a real artist. I like him. I dig him. Get one. They're not gonna be up there forever. I don't know. This YouTube's probably gonna be up there, up here, longer than this will. So, uh, I mean, this this offer is what I'm trying to say. So, there you guys have it. The name is Jose Trujillo. I'm a uh, the world's greatest living artist. Let's just put it that way, you know, and. I love what I do. I love sharing my process. I just showed you guys something here that most artists are like, I'm going to charge to show people how to do this. Nope, not me. I just opened the doors to my studio, guys, and I love doing that. You know, I, I, what, what, what is it? What is it about art that is worth sharing everything? You know, it's, it's, it's this thing that we all, we can all look at and be like, oh man, I get that. You know, I, 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 I get this. I see that maybe maybe not this exact way but I have that feeling you know I've seen nature that way and it made me feel something and when I see this even this under two bucks you know and it's not it's not auction okay it's gonna be a, a you buy it for under two bucks um I you know every time I see it it's it's like having a photograph of your children right you, you look at it or or, 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 your, or your your dog or whatever you look at it and you're like oh, yeah it makes me feel good Man, I love nature. When I look at something like this, for, you know, especially if you put a little matting, you frame it and whatnot, or even just to have it, you know, over the fridge. I don't know. This is not a print, guys. This is, this is an original painting. 
under two bucks. Come on. You look at it and you're like, whoa, dude. Yeah. I like what this makes me feel. Anyways, I'll leave you guys with that. Take care. Till next time. Be cool. Stay cool. And be uh, awesome. Bye.